uh, let's also uh, talk about um, Harvard. Um, I love this story. Yesterday, uh, the Harvard president, uh, Claudine Gay, resigned. Now, in case you're not up to date on this story, um, this woman is an... I mean, I'm, she's an awful woman. She's, an, <laughs> she's a horrible human being. This is a woman who got her job, basically, I'm sorry to say this, because she's black, because she fit a quota. She was the least qualified person to be president of one of the biggest, greatest universities in the world. She got the job despite having a career that was... I mean, pitiful compared to anyone who's had that job beforehand. Um, was basically, it was quite clearly an appointment which was filling a quota, OK? She, she uh, has hounded people from office again and again and again, literally trying to get people, professors, losing their tenure just because they don't go along with the sort of the, the trans, woke, climate, whatever it is. Diversity, diversity equity, equity, equity ideology. Yeah. People who just say the most... Things like, you know... Trans women aren't, aren't women thing. Basically, very, very simple statements of fact. She's a, I, she's genuine. I think she's a nasty piece of work. Mm. Well, it's come back on to haunt her because after Harvard happily allowed the most extraordinarily anti-Semitic demonstrations and protests and signs and, 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 and behaviour from students in Harvard against Jewish students in the wake of the October 7th attacks uh, and the the, uh, the attacks on uh, Hamas in Gaza. Um, uh, she she did a, she went to a Senate committee and in, in Washington and basically defended freedom of speech. But did defend freedom of speech for anyone else, just for, you know, anti-Semites, anti-Semites. Um, she uh, has not been brought down by the anti-Semitism, though. No. She's been brought down by plagiarism, because it turns out she basically didn't write most of the stuff she claimed to have write, yeah. written. I mean, I'm glad she's gone, um, but then I don't want people losing their jobs for, for having different opinions from me. I but, do. But, she ha <laughs> but, but if you're defending anti-Semitism... Mm. Then you, is, you probably should, you probably don't have a business being the president of a university. What is particularly awful about that is that this is this is somebody who comes from the same school of thought that for the last ten years has been pushing the idea that speech is violence and yes. that free speech on campus is not in fact acceptable because it might harm minorities except when it's about Jewish people. At which point it, you yeah. can say whatever you want. And I mean, to give you some idea, I mean, the BBC tweeted out this morning after she uh, uh, it announced that she would be leaving Harvard that she was the victim of the culture. And, and I just thought, at what stage did anti-Semitism become the culture wars? Which, let's remember, as we're always told, was started by the right to, you know, to, to obfuscate from the fact that yeah. right-wing governments aren't doing very well. It is lie after lie after narrative. It is disgraceful. It's yeah. fantastic that she's gone. But let's yeah. remember, she was one of three senior university yep. leaders that appeared in that Senate, and they all said the same thing, which was, it would depend on the context. Yeah. It would, and the other three, one of them has also gone, there's still one left. Yeah. But the oh, thing, no, these are go. the three best universities in the United States Imagine what it must be like amongst exactly. all the rest of them. But, but one of my things, though, I do worry that a lot of this was actually about money talking and an sure. awful lot of people just basically going, oh, we are not going to give money to your university anymore. Um, mm. Applications to Harvard plummeted. As a result. I mean, yeah. you know, if my daughter wanted to go to Harvard or something like that, I would say, under no circumstances would you go to university run by that woman. I mean, it's, it's been fascinating. So many major donors, Wall Street banks, you know, international companies, alumni have been saying, no, actually, we won't fund this, a lot of whom are Jewish themselves. Mm. And I say, good for them, actually. Yeah. You shouldn't be forking out to institutions that are Defend. telling people to be racist yeah. against And again, it wasn't, it wasn't criticism of Israel. No. It was anti-Semitic, yeah. simple as that.